Good morning. Today is a continuation of what we were dealing with yesterday. So it's not nice out there, but this is the bottom line here and is downright hazardous uh, for a lot of folks here in the Southern Valley this morning. We still have an ongoing blizzard in the south, especially southeastern North Dakota with significant drifting happening. Some large drifts on some of the roads that make them impassable in some parts of southeastern North Dakota and dangerous wind chills on top of that. So it's tough everywhere. Uh, but certainly the worst of it is in those areas where we have that blizzard warning in effect. And speaking of, this is Highway 13 in Verona. I've been keeping an eye on this area because the DOT cam shows a really good picture of what some of us are encountering. This drifting onto the road surface. Here's the road right here, and the drifts are just kind of going right over the road here. And in some cases, they're pretty large. Five-foot drifts uh, getting reported on the Minnesota side. So here's a look at the latest radar. We're adding a little more snow to the mix. Not, right now, it's not that uh, heavy. Fargo's not seeing any snow at the moment. It's more toward Wapiton, Breckenridge, Lidgerwood, Hankinson area, back over to Fergus Falls, uh, and then down into South Dakota, back over into Wheaton areas, as well as uh, seeing that snow. Uh, Elbow Lake, perhaps a few of those flakes, too. It's not heavy again at the moment, but uh, this just makes for lowered visibility. You've got the snow falling, plus the blowing snow that's getting picked up off the ground, and that just creates big hazards out on the road. And uh, this continues to affect places in our southern viewing area. Now, the question is, is how far north does it make it today? Right now, it still looks like uh, places in lakes country will pick up some more snow here as we go on through the morning. Here's a look at our winds. They are brisk everywhere. We've got winds in the teens and 20s up north, but we have our stronger speeds down into the south where we continue to get some gusts today into the 30s to near 40 miles per hour. Right now, we've got a reported gust in Oaks to 36 miles per hour, and that is enough to create those whiteout conditions with uh, the snow that we've picked up. And in Detroit Lakes, a little gust here at 18 miles per hour visibility down also into Lakes Country, but our lowest visibility reports coming in right in that Wapiton Breckenridge area back through Gwinter, back through the Oaks areas where we're seeing the wind combined with areas that picked up in some instances a foot of snow or so in that region. And then of course, on top of that, we're seeing some snowfall happening right now as well. So temperatures, it's frigid. JC has been talking about just how cold it is out there. Even without the wind, temperatures are below zero. It's 10 below in Fargo, 17 below in Grand Forks. But now let's factor in that wind we've been talking about. And wind chills are really tough. We're seeing them come down even more in Grand Forks to 47 below right now. And at that number, just a reminder here, if you're not covered up, we're talking about frostbite in 10 minutes or less. So you've got to make sure you are wearing your layers and you're covering up your skin as you step outside today. And this is an area up north where we haven't seen much snow. It's the wind chill that is your main hazard here. But Southern Valley, we're also experiencing some tough wind chills, some 20s and 30s below zero. And this will be with us even after the snow ends, even after the wind finally eases up a little bit. We're still going to have the cold around here, so be ready. Here's a look at our hour by hour planner. That snow possible in the south and east. Fargo-Moorhead could be right on the edge where we see a little more snow today before that winds down. This is at 9 a.m. Continuing on into the noon hour, the snow's breaking up. We start to see it move on more and more. And eventually the falling snow ends as we head into the afternoon, but the wind stays strong. We're looking at gusts 30s to 40 miles per hour, and that will continue to create ground blizzard conditions, especially in open areas in some spots. That's why that blizzard warning is in effect until 6 o'clock tonight. Uh, the snow's done, but the wind is not. Heading into the overnight hours, we'll watch the wind slowly come down. The skies will clear out, and tomorrow morning, we're starting off really frigid here. 8 a.m. tomorrow, teens, 20s below, wind chills could be as low as 50 below uh, for tomorrow morning. So just brutal conditions here uh, coming up in the forecast. Additional snowfall, well, we're looking at, you know, some places not seeing anything at all. Fargo could maybe get up to an inch. We'll see. It depends on the track of the rest of that uh, second round of snow. And then a lot of places in Lakes Country, one to three inches. And of course, this is on top of what we've picked up already. You know, this is a perfect day to do that one experiment with your kids now that they're at home um, or if they're doing virtual learning. When you get the hot water uh, and you... It's yep. a good day to do it, right? Today, all the way through tomorrow. <laughs> it's going to be frigid for a while yeah. here. Well, there's something positive to do. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Lisa.